With a little over a week left until the federal spending bill's deadline, the battle over border security funding is quickly heating up. President Trump is demanding $5 billion to be put in the bill for the border wall. Well, the Democrats are offering more than $1.6 billion. Earlier this year, well, President Walsh Trump met with Democratic well, leaders Nancy Pelosi Walsh. and Chuck Schumer. Right. And sparks yeah. flew, as you see there. President Trump even saying that he would be proud to shut down the country if it means getting the funding for the wall. But not all Republicans are on board with the government shutdown part of the plan, including West Virginia Senator Shelley Moore Capito. I just think that there's a better way to do it because in the end you have to open the government back up and I'm not sure it gives, uh, it would give the president the leverage that he thinks it would. I think in the end uh, that it would be, he, we would all be better served and I think he believes this too, to um, move forward and find a compromise. If a shutdown were to happen, it would be a partial one, meaning essential services would continue, but government offices deemed non-essential well, would not, close. We'll have much more on the potential shutdown and what those billions of dollars would be going to later on tonight.